Entitled Parker parked in my driveway so I blocked them in and got drunk all weekend. Friday night I came home from work to find someone on our block was having a large party and someone decided they were entitled to park in my driveway. Keep in mind my driveway is a single car width lined with a retaining wall on both sides and a garage at the end. Essentially impossible for a tow truck to come pull them out without property damage. Seeing this and the lack of street parking I took this as a cue to park right behind them in my driveway. Now a few hours go by and their entitled parker is now knocking at my door demanding I move my car so she can leave. Seeing as they were demanding, I informed them that I had been drinking and would not move my car. The entitled parker then decides to call the police to get them to force me to move. When the police knocked on my door, I was sure to grab a beer from the fridge before I answered to talk to the officer. I had informed him that after I got home I was unwinding and had been drinking and was in no shape to drive. At this point their hands were tied because they couldn't tow her car out, I'm in no shape to drive, and I'm legally parked in my driveway. I ended up telling the entitled parker that since it is a long weekend I would be on a weekend long bender and they could come move my car after I go to work on Tuesday. Hello, police? I trespassed on someone's private property by parking my vehicle up their driveway and now they've parked behind me and won't let me out I'm the victim here I demand you come and punish them. Nice work, OP. I applaud your pettiness. Our petty revenge best served with beer breath. This is the pettiest revenge ever and we appreciate your efforts. A valuable lesson is being taught to this woman. Do not park in other people's driveways. I'm sure for the rest of her life she'll remember this. If the car is on your property long enough, does it become yours? If you really want to add to the pettiness, first thing Tuesday move your car and have a tow truck there to tow it at her expense. WTF is it with people parking someone's driveway? I feel bad if I park in front of someone's house I would never presume to just pull on in. People suck. How'd it go after that? More deets. I do hope that you're sitting in a leather swivel chair with a white cat on your lap whilst wearing a classy suit. Perfect. Smiling face with horns enjoy your weekend. The absolute fucking entitled audacity to park in someone else's driveway without permission. I would have taken Uber to work on Tuesday just as an extra fuck you. LMAO I bet the cop knew exactly what you were doing too. Enjoy your weekend gif emote free emotes pack joy. Chef's kiss. Please put a patio chair next to her car and sit out there drinking. Here's an idea. Get her towed anyway. The tow drivers can typically get into the car and force it into neutral. They can then push it out of the driveway and complete hookup in the street. Too bad you can't get a ride to work from a co-worker on Tuesday. Excellent work, OP. But honestly, who the fuck thinks it's okay to park in someone else's driveway? I hope they don't do anything to your car and maybe hint at if they want you to do something maybe they could hire you to move your car. Have it towed on Monday. Holiday tow rates. How much does your city parking garage charge? Put an invoice on the car, don't forget holiday upcharge for Monday. Thank goodness for long weekends. What an uplifting tale. F that entitled bit, er, uh, lady. PSA in the US, it's legal to have these a holes towed. Also, most tow companies will happily tow them at no expense to the property owner. They recover their costs from the vehicle's registered owner who must provide proof they are such. The fucking balls it takes to call the police after you illegally parked in someone's driveway. That's basically calling the cops on yourself. Clapping hand sign clapping hand sign clapping hand sign well played enjoy your extended weekend thumbs up sign. This is even funnier than calling a tow truck. Enjoy your vengeful bender.
I used to live next to a school and parents would park in my driveway during pickup. I did the same thing you did but I moved it after the cops came. Honestly. Who parks in someone else's driveway up to the garage? Arrogance. Well done sir, you have my respect. This is probably even better than towing it. Any asshole with money can pay the tow bill and get their car. Now they are forced to wait an entire weekend until Tuesday morning. The best part is, if they work on Tuesday they are going to need to inconvenience themselves or someone else to camp outside Arp's house until he leaves for work. This is extraordinarily petty. But under the circumstances, this was the best choice. Well done. Seriously, who has the audacity to park in someone's driveway? Where do you get confidence like that? Sounds like you missed an opportunity to make some cash. Rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing this is gold. Better have a camera on your driveway when they come back to fuck your car up. Revenge and good beer best served frosty cold. Well played, OP, make sure to finally move it at an odd and inconvenient time. When she came to get her car you should have charged a rental fee for the driveway parking. Have you considered taking an Uber on Tuesday? I swear I did that before because I absolutely had enough and I just happened to be drinking. They threatened to call the cops because the driver had to call his parents because he tried to go forward and got stuck couldn't get out of the mud. I said I've been drinking that's against the law I don't think the cops would like that. I was a lot younger and to be fair the upstairs was a party house and I was a young single mother working her ass off and could never park in her driveway. Beautiful, well done sir. I love this. OMG this is petty and perfect. Enjoy your weekend. Beautiful. Simply lovely. I love this so very, very much great job and I hope EP learns a lesson. This made my day, thank you. I just came here to say face with tears of joy 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 I wonder how long you could keep this up Is there some point in the future where you've had their car blocked in for years or decades Do you buy another car and another home to park it at just so you can torture them Perhaps what your driveway needs is another retaining wall so you can permanently block their escape. LOL I pretty much did this at work once. Filmed the guy letting air out of my tires. Emailed his boss and he was fired that afternoon. I'd be afraid of them coming back in the middle of the night to vandalize my car. If you don't have a camera, maybe set one up just in case. I think I just had an orgasm. Tuesday morning when they show up, roll out about 10.30 or so, and say, what, did you think I was going to work in the morning? I'm still buzzed, won't be going in until second shift. Play stupid games win stupid prizes 101. They fucked around and found out. It's divine. I bet they were parking mad. Would have thrown a few nails behind the tires, I do work in my driveway and sometimes screws and nails end up there. If someone starts a GoFundMe for OP to take Uber to work for next month and not drive his car I'll gladly contribute. Red heart hash red heart hash red heart hash. Whatever you do. Do not get back in the car until you're ready to move it. God bless you. You fucking rock pettiness is an art when done right and you my friend aced that shit. This may be my favorite petty revenge ever. I am someone who always errs on the side of kindness, but secretly loves the idea of being petty against blatant entitlement. This is truly golden. No hurt feelings, nothing cruel just the perfect example of bad behavior having consequences. Fucking legend mate. This is extremely satisfying. I applaud your quick thinking for beer drinking. Salut.